Have I found talk now? I'm going to say my mother is me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, things they happen around you, nobody they talk about them. <laughs> People are looking at it and saying, oh, you know, concern me, you know, concern me. One of the major problems of Nigeria, I keep saying it, now the media. No, now the media, now they feed us with whatsoever they want to feed us. And people just eat it anyhow. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me so great joy to see a media house in Nigeria. There be a rise, oh, a rise TV, oh. Now they don't arise rise and shine. You, know? you see this guy, Rufai, where they will be one of the presenters for a rise TV. The guy, the young. What will not be for this government? What will not take on herself as? Ladies and gentlemen, after you watch this video finish, you can't tell me what you think about what this guy talk. Because the guy, like I said, the guy sum everything up. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the video. Within a year of killings of our brigade of cards. And this was the same Mr. Fabio Adesio that said months ago that we will solve the insecurity problem before this adventure comes to an end. And we keep having meetings over meetings that do not favor Nigeria. We are sick and tired of these meetings, ultimatums and directives. I don't need to think that the president went to brief the Liberians on how to tackle insecurity. Is that not what we become as a country? We can't solve our own problems. We are going to tell other people how to solve the problem of insecurity. I would have wondered that uh, President Weir of Liberia would tell President Wari, oh my man, how is this to your country, man? Because we think it's a joke. Because we're not on the... On, and on the second end of the stick, how people now pay bandits hundreds of millions. And the government has not been able to investigate the people that collect this money and the channel on which they take this money. How banditry is now so rife in Nigeria that somebody was joking with me the other day. He said when they release the next GDP numbers, they should please put banditry as a sector of the Nigeria economy. Because that's the most lucrative sector now. Do you know that in this one cycle of the Kaduna train kidnapping, they've done over one billion naira from people that don't have money, and this money keeps circulating in our economy. We can't do anything about it. And when people talk, you call them anarchists. When are we going to open our eyes and tell ourselves the truth in this country that is bleeding? We want our country to do well. Coupled with the 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 destruction of the Nigerian economy. Nigeria economy was better in 2015 than it is today. The facts are there. Some people campaigned so hard in 2015. They said they would make one dollar one naira. They complained then that one dollar was 216 to one naira. Today is 710. 710. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace and an apology to this same naira.